What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, yes, your boy did switch up some things in my uh recording space. Uh, kind of switched up the camera angles, added some new things here and there, and uh, you know, just trying to make my workspace a little bit uh better for me to record in, and hopefully, visually, it looks better for y'all as well. Um, for my commentary style videos, I probably won't be using a green screen, if anything, I'll probably most likely keep this angle right here and uh for like my reactions and stuff like that i'll definitely be using the green screen but i wanted to talk to y'all about this particular situation uh i've been seeing a lot of people um talk about it on social media and i definitely wanted to make a video about it is i don't think it's for certain that gunther is going to win at this year's SummerSlam against damian priest i don't and I don't know if it's the design of how uh, Triple H is, you know, kind of setting things up. Because before Monday Night Raw, before the promo segment with Damian Priest and Gunther, I was like 99% sure that Gunther was going to beat Damian Priest and he was going to become the new World Heavyweight Champion. But after the promo segment, I don't feel the same about that i'm gonna be honest with you um reason being is because of how gunther was healing it up that's the real reason why i'm like i'm not 100 percent sure like i was before 99 percent sure is because of how he was healing it up he was healing it up in a way that he normally doesn't do like he didn't do the same he didn't say this some of the similar stuff he said to Sammy when he was feuding with him right before WrestleMania and what he's saying to Damian Priest. We all know Damian Priest's backstory of him legitimately living on the streets, not having a place to stay and working his ass off to get to the point to the point where he is right now. So his story is very compelling, you know, and a lot of people can relate to someone having nothing and then finally working their ass off to get everything that you deserve in life so it's 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 really a baby face story and you can tell they're turning him baby face not even slowly it's obvious they are um but gunther's response was so it reminds me of triple h and booker t's feud it, it's except not as overtly racist like not as much racism involved like that few definitely had some some racism tones there it wasn't even no denying that but this one is not i wouldn't say racist in a sense but it has a little bit of it like just a little a hint of discrimination for someone because gunther's response and i don't have a problem with it it makes gunther even that much more of a despicable heel his response to you know what Damian Priest has been through is like it's not my fault your parents you know put you in that situation it's not my fault you grew up in the streets and my parents did better for me you know he called him street trash he legitimately called this guy street trash <laughs> if Damian Priest was black he would have called him a thug you know what I'm saying like I and here's the thing, I don't have a problem with it because I uh, it's it's not offensive, but I get that he's trying to poke at Damian Priest's like less fortunate situation in growing up. And we've met people like that who pretty much had everything they wanted was given to them. Not to say they didn't work for it, but they already had a couple steps ahead because of their parents. And sometimes those people look upon everybody else that struggled that didn't have the silver spoon, that had to fight for scraps on the streets, they look at them as street trash. So I wouldn't even say racism in a sense, maybe classism, maybe, you know, the rich guy that's at the top of the company that was, you know, put in the position to be the best going against the guy that doesn't have much, didn't have much, and had to, you know, come up in the rank. So some would say it's slightly a little bit of racism, but I wouldn't go too far. It's like, it's, it's, you can insinuate it's there, but it's more so just classism. Like he, Gunther feels he's a higher class individual, higher class wrestler, and he feels like he deserves to be at the top while Damian Priest had to work his way there. So either way, however you want to depict it, for me personally, I like it 
because now it switches things. Because before, I think a lot of us could agree that we thought Gunther was going to be the guy to the throne, Damian Priest, with maybe the assist of Finn Balor. Now, they haven't really followed up on the Finn Balor stuff yet, which is leading me to believe it may not happen at SummerSlam. I think there could be a potential situation where Damian Priest somehow retains, and then at some point, uh, the next pay-per-view is Bash in Berlin, most likely there, that's when Guther will actually win. Now, some could say, well, damn, that's a waste of the king of the ring. Not necessarily depending on how they book it because there's going to be a way where he eventually gets that title championship, you know, or, uh, wins the championship. The question is how. So I don't know how they book it. We're going to have to see what they do going uh, forward like weeks you know we're a few weeks out so depending on how they book it it's going to be very interesting but i will say this just off that promo his reaction how demeaning he was calling him street trash i don't know if he actually just outright wins here i don't know that i think honestly i do think there's gonna be a situation where they're going to potentially give Damian Priest a win here. Now, the question is, does he get the clean win? That becomes the question. Does he get the clean win? And that's what I'm really concerned about. How does this happen? Does Gunther eat a pin? I don't know. I don't know. If Gunther eats the pin here, does he get disqualified? There got to be something. Or does Finn Balor cost a disqualification? I don't know. I don't know. But I just, it's just, and I've seen people start to really think about this. I do think with Gunther's recent promo and how they're pushing Damian Priest as this underdog babyface in a heel group. I can see somehow, some way, he still wins. Somehow. I don't know how they get there. But once again, we got to see how things play out for uh, the weeks coming. So y'all let me know down below, man. How do y'all feel about um, this idea that maybe Damian Priest does win at SummerSlam? How do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about uh, Gunther's promo? I, I honestly enjoyed it. It really... He's been like a prick, you know, a, a, a cocky asshole for a majority of his feuds. But this one feels a little bit different only because he's going after the guy's personal life, calling him street trash and saying his championship run is just too much for him to handle. He's really healing it up and I enjoy it. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Let me know. Do y'all potentially think they may swerve us in a way where... Damien Priest actually wins. Or would y'all just want it to still be Gunther, pack up Damien Priest, and we call it a day? Y'all let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support uh, y'all have shown on the channel. Uh, and also let me know if y'all if y'all liking this uh, new angle for these commentary style videos. Uh, let me know how y'all feel about that. But I love y'all. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.